Hey guys, so so I didn't realize my camera was actually off. I thought I was recording, so like I had to backtrack a bit to show you guys how to get from like the domestic terminal to the international terminal. Uh, I'll show you guys where I came out of. I just came out of, and it's like no entry, so I can't really go beyond that point. But from that point, uh, it pretty much looks like this. Uh, there's like signs directing you to all other terminals and also BART and Caltrain. So BART and Caltrain is straight up ahead. Uh, there's like restrooms down there and then like if you're coming out of the domestic terminal of SFO and then you want to pick up your baggage, like the baggage claim is right down there. So right down there, but we're heading to the international terminal so we have to go upstairs actually. So there's like a lot of signs directing you to the uh, international terminal. I'm just following signs to like all terminals and then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, you guys are downstairs. So right now this is in front of gates, um, gates 50 to 59. This is where people enter the security checkpoint if they're going on like a domestic flight. But for us we need to get to the international area so let's head upstairs. So yeah, I was like, uh, I just reached the top of the stairs and then I realized that the camera was actually off. I was just talking to like the camera and it wasn't recording anything, so I had to backtrack a bit. So anyway, we're back at the spot that I stopped at last time and then we'll see where we go from here. So right now this is what it looks like at the top of the stairs. Uh, signs directing us to all terminals. The airport's pretty empty today. I guess it's because it's like New Year's Day and there's no one that really wants to travel, so that's pretty nice. I was expecting the place to be like jam-packed with people. So when I checked in at um, LAX to head to SFO, they also allowed me to check in for my SFO flight over to Haneda. So I don't really need to wait in line to check in. I already have my boarding pass and we're just looking for the security line for the international terminal. So let's see. International terminal, all terminals are this way. And straight up ahead is the parking area. So we'll be heading upstairs somewhere. So apparently there's like a bus or something to garages and bar. What does this go to? I've actually never seen this before. So. Rental car slash governance. Yeah, landed in the water. No. Door closing. Yeah, luckily it was low. This is actually... This is actually new. I've never been on this before. It looks pretty cool though, like, deep trip. So I'm guessing I... Hold on. I'm guessing I board this train to, like, go to the other terminals. I was just at Terminal uh, 2. 
Well, that's cool. So they, they make announcements saying uh, which terminal is next. So we were just at Terminal 2, which is like right up there at the top of the map. And then the next one is Terminal uh, 3. Next one is Terminal 3. So I guess we're after the. Uh, we, our stop will be right after Terminal 3, which is the international Terminal 3. And they also have a station direct. Like station direct. I'm not sure if you can see, you can see that too well. But they show like which airline is at which terminal so you know like where to go. Alright, so I'm at uh, International Terminal G. I'm a bit lost actually. I'm trying to get to the Japan. I'm trying to, uh, let me look at you guys, so I'm trying to get to the Japan Airlines, but uh, according to the map, like, Japan Airlines is not listed on there, so like, there's international terminals right there, but Japan Air is not listed, so I guess I'll find out where I have to go, I'll, I'll just head downstairs to the ticketing and check-in area and try and find Japan Airlines, hopefully I can find it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so I was able to find out like how to get to where I need to go. Uh, right now we're at uh, International Terminal G. And I couldn't find uh, JAL, which is what I needed. So uh, I went downstairs and then talked to the information guy and he showed me where JAL was. Um, also like the boarding ticket that I got, it didn't have like a gate number. So uh, I had to find out the gate number. Anyway, I'll show you what I did to find out like where I needed to go and what I had to do. So uh, I'll just show you where I am now and then show you where I'm going. So right now we're heading downstairs to the ticketing and check-in area. This is from International Terminal G. Uh, so we're heading down the stairs right now. And then I'll show you guys how I found out which gate it is that I need to uh, get to. Because as I said, the Boarding, my boarding ticket does not have the uh, gate number that I need to go to, so I had like no idea where to go. So this is how I found out. I already knew my um, my flight number and also the airline and my departure time. So I was just looking for one of these information screens, which is right over here. They list like the departures and also the arrival. So I'll need a departure and then I'm heading out to uh, Tokyo, which is right there. That's my flight. Tokyo, Haneda, 6.10 p.m. Uh, there, JAL number one. The, the company keeps changing. I'm not sure why. I guess there's like multiple companies that you can book with. But uh, yeah, for this one, I need to head to gate A9, which is right there, A9. This area is the uh, security check-in for like the G gates. So I need to go to the other side of the terminal. So I need A9 which is all the way on the other side. Uh, in case you guys do need to check in like uh, with JAL and you don't have a boarding ticket, uh, you guys would have to go to number 10. So when you're in the international when you're in the international terminal, there's like different numbers. Like uh, here, there's number one, and there's a whole row of these. All one, two, three, and then I talked to the guy at the info center, and he said that I have to get to number ten. So you just go to number ten, and then JAL will check you in. So I'm almost out of battery right now. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.